Hey guys, what's up? Toba Logo here, and today we're doing the April Subscriber World Cup. I'm sorry it's a little bit late. I've been very busy um, with like Easter and stuff like that. It's, it's been a bit crazy. But anyway, um, this is the teams that made it through. Um, as you can see, some of them are still played. It's because I already like I accidentally didn't. I pressed A too too fast, and it already took me into the World Cup. So I apologize, but it's only two games. I'm sure, you know, you can live with it. But anyway, I want to tell you um, that um, I'm thinking about doing this twice a month. But I want to get more subs on this channel before I do it. A lot of people have been calling um, for more subscriber World Cups. Um, so they can get in it, potentially. But, and I know it's a random submissions and it's random pickings out of the hat sort of thing. About 200 entries, like, a month. But, um, I might do. I might do. Like, every two weeks or something. But that's as long as this keeps up. Especially over the World Cup. I might even do, like, one a week, perhaps, just to celebrate the World Cup. But anyway, I have to read out who got through. And, um, here are the people that got through. So, basically... Um, in Group A, Solomon Islands, that was Canadian Syrup. Denmark, that was Justin0131. Syria, Falcon King. North Korea, Spicy9000. Group B, Panama was Blake Taylor. Faroe Islands was Paul Magachi. Uh, Egypt was Nathan Vio. And Finland was John Harvey. Group C, Angola was Drew Vernon. Uh, Papua New Guinea was Brandon Apocalypse. Uh, Philippines was Mike De La Torre. And San Marino was Josh Dalton. Uh, group D, Malawi was Kurene Harris Gaming. Um, Angulia was Vern Batik. Uh, Japan was Just Danil. And UAE was Hesky for the Ballon d'Or. Uh, Uzbekistan was Polidaro Bartz. Uh, Wales was FIFA Cameron. Tonga was Little Jason. And Uganda was Flyboy. Um, group F, Macau was Scott McFarlane. Um, Congo was Games. Uh, Northern Ireland was 600-700, and Mexico was Jonathan Hernandez. Um, Chile in Group G was Manuel Taipia. Uh, England was uh, Sagif Borneo. Uh, USA was David Villamil. Villamil, sorry. Um, I'm butchering people's names, I apologise. Uh, Scotland was uh, Declan, 1609. Um and in Group H, lastly, Congo DR was ELG Gaming. El Salvador was Cheese It. Um, Thailand was Gary Martin. And Kate Verde was Watford Fan. That's the people who got through. Obviously, as like I said, it's random. Don't get mad at me if you didn't get picked. I am considering two subscriber World Cups. That's only if I hit my goal. Um, there's no, it's a lot of effort to print out all the submissions and draw them out of the hat. And I don't film that process because it takes about 20 minutes. So, yeah, it'll be too long. But anyway, um, as you can see in Group A and Group B, um, um, there's been one match played in each group. I couldn't help that. I accidentally pressed A. I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, we're just going to continue as uh, usual. I am representing Japan. That was picked by just Daniil. Let's see if Japan can beat the UAE. Let's see it. Yes, 2-0. Well done. Um, I may as well just go to the end and then look at the groups because that seems to be the best plan. All right, so can Malawi beat Japan? I'd love that because I need a good thumbnail. So can Malawi beat Japan? Um, let's have a look and see who Malawi is. Uh, that was Q&A, Harris Gaming. Can he shock just Daniil? No. It was 2-0 to Japan. Right, so Japan are pretty much through. So their last game is against Angulia, who are sitting last place, unfortunately. So Angulia are out. Let's see if Angulia can shock Japan now. If I'm saying that wrong, just tell me. All right, because I really don't know how to say that. Oh, uh, it's only 1-0. So Japan are pretty much through with nine points. Well done, just a nil. All right, I can see all the people that have got through, but we won't look at that yet. Right, so Group A. Let's have a look, see. So Denmark went through and Syria went through. Congratulations to Justin and Falcon King. Uh, group B, Panama, who was selected by Blake Taylor. 
and Finland went through. That was John Harvey. Um, Group C, Angola, Drew Vernon went through. And Papua New Guinea, Brandon Apocalypse. Well done. Japan went through. We already know that. United Am Arab Emirates was Heskey full of Ballon d'Or. Uh, Group E, uh, Wales and Uganda went through. Wales selected by FIFA Cameron. And Uganda was Flyboy. Unlucky to everybody that's gone home so far. Group F, Mexico and Northern Ireland go through. Um, Mexico was selected by Jonathan Hernandez. Northern Ireland was selected by 600, 700. Unlucky to the two people that are going home. Group G, England and United States go through. Uh, Sagif Borneo went through. I don't know if I'm saying your name right, by the way. Uh, USA was David Villamil. And then Group H, uh, Thailand topped that group. So that was Gary Martin. Well done. That's quite a shocker with Congo DR in there and Kate Verde. And Congo DR went through. That was ELG Gaming. The rest of you, the rest, the other 16 go home. <laughs> Unlucky. But anyway, we get to see um, who is who in the round of 16. So reading left down, we've got a little bit of a Scandinavian derby with Denmark versus Finland. Then... Angola versus UAE, Panama versus Syria, Japan versus Papua New Guinea, Wales versus Northern Ireland, that's the British Isles sort of um, derby there, uh, England versus Congo DR, Mexico versus Uganda, and USA versus Thailand. So you all know who you are, I don't need to say it. All I'm really concerned about really is the top four. So we're going to just keep going and see who comes out on top. So Japan are playing Papua New Guinea. Japan is um, obviously just to nail Papua New Guinea. It's Brandon Apocalypse. Can Brandon shock Japan? Hopefully, I'd like a different... Well, not hopefully, but I would like a thumbnail. Please. Ah, oh, okay. So I do like my shocks, but Japan probably... Oh, 2-0. That's not too bad. Um, so let's just have a look at the tree now. So Wales beat Northern Ireland 3-0. England beat Congo DR 3-0. Uh, Denmark beat Finland in the Scandinavian derby 4-1. Angola beat um, UAE 2-1. Uh, Mexico beat Uganda 6-0. Uh, USA squeezed by Thailand 4-3. Panama beat Syria 5-1. And um, Japan beat Papua New Guinea. So you've got Mexico versus the United States. That's quite a decent matchup to have. Um, Panama versus Japan. Wales versus England. And Denmark versus Angola. So Wales versus England and uh, Mexico versus USA. Neighbourly um, games there. I can't wait to see how they go down. Um, I'd say the smallest teams that are left are Panama and Angola. And potentially Wales. But Wales have gotten better um, since this game came out. Um, right. So, Panama versus Japan. So, Justin Hill versus Blake Taylor. Let's see if you can go through. Okay, so Japan did beat Panama. Unlucky there, Blake. So, these are the top four people that got through. Uh, Wales beat um, England 5-4 on penalties. England are not very good on penalties anyway. Um, Denmark beat Angola 4-0. Looking very strong at the moment, Denmark. Um, USA beat Mexico 1-0. And Japan beat Panama 2-0. So USA versus Japan and Wales versus Denmark. Let's just identify who the top people are. So Wales is FIFA Cameron. Denmark is Justin0131. Uh, USA is David Villamil. And Japan is obviously Justin Hill. So let's have a look. You are our top four. So you're guaranteed to... One of you, one of you will be fourth, obviously. And the rest of you will be runner-up, winner, and third place winner as well. Okay, Japan versus USA. Can USA beat Japan? This would be quite a close matchup. Uh, Japan beat USA 1 0. So um, Japan are in the finals. Well done, just the nil. Unlucky David Philomel. Okay, so it's Wales versus Japan 
for the final. That's quite insane that Wales managed to get to a final. Very good submission there, FIFA Cameron. So it's FIFA Cameron versus just a nil. Can Wales win their first ever tournament um, World Cup? Um, we'll have to wait and see. But Denmark versus USA. David Villamil versus um, Justin 0131 is coming up next. And you'll be able to see that in the calendar. Um, it's right there in very, very tiny writing. So, let's have a look. Oh, it's 2-2, two, two, so I won't know who won because it's decided on penalties and penalties don't show on this part of the screen for some reason. Let's just skip to the World Cup final. Wales versus Japan. Can Japan or Wales, who will clinch it? I don't know what I'm saying right now. Wales have won it. FIFA Cameron has won the Subscriber World Cup for the month of April. Congratulations. Great submission. Um, unlucky. Um, just Daniil, I know I was following your team. Um, I just picked Japan because that was an interesting entry. Um, but Wales have beaten you 5-4 on penalties. Unlucky, but you still come second. So congratulations to you both for getting this far. Let's advance to the awards. Top goal scorer was Mexico, so that was Jonathan Hernandez. Well done. Best player, Nicholas Bentner. What? Okay, that, that was Denmark, so that was Justin. And um, Japan, best best goalkeeper. We already know who that is. You already know who that who you are and stuff like that. So let's just check. Um, USA beat Denmark 5-4 on penalty. So, so we got here FIFA Cameron first. Justin Hill second for Japan. USA third, David Villamil, and Denmark fourth, and that was Justin 0131. So congratulations to you all. Unlucky to the people that didn't get through or lost or whatever. Congratulations to the winner, um, FIFA Cameron. I need to remember that. Let's just see who is the dirtiest team of the whole tournament. It was the United States, and that was also David Villamil. So your team are third, but you're also a dirty team. But then everybody has one, so all those submissions there are dirty. <laughs> anyway, um, this has been a Subscriber World Cup for the month of April. If you did enjoy it, please like it. Subscribe if you're new here with notifications on. Ring that little bell. Um, I am planning to do um, more, but only if I get more subs. Um, that was, it's, it's only um, a goal I want to hit. And if I hit that goal, then you'll be rewarded with more um, Subscriber World Cup since you keep asking for more. But I need an incentive to do it first, if you understand me. Um, so, yeah, put your entries in for May. Um, hopefully that will be an, another good um, World Cup. Uh, this has been Toba Loco. Keep it loco, and I'll see you again for the next video.